In this session, we are going to learn how to convert a regular expression into epsilon and FA. The first methodology to prove the equivalence between finite automata and regular expression. So before getting into that, let us uh, see one mathematical concept which acts as a basis for doing this. The concept of mathematical induction many of us would know already. Otherwise, just a recap over here. Let S be a statement over a positive integer n. For example, if I'm writing a statement like 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on up to n. What's the formula? We all know it is n into n plus 1 divided by 2. Okay. How do we prove whether this statement is correct or not? So that is by using this concept mathematical induction. Theorem moving works on two concepts. First, you have to set a basis where we need to prove whether the statement is true for minimum value of n. Here, if you take this statement, what is the minimum value of n? It is 1. So we need to check. So in left hand side, the value of n is equal to 1. If you go to right hand side, the, if you replace the value of n by 1, so 1 into 1 plus 1, which is 2 divided by 2, which is equal to 2, and hence, okay. So the statement is proved for minimum value of n, right? So the second step is going to induction, where we assume that the statement is true for k or no, which is less than n. So why we assume it is k? Because already we have proved that it is true for minimum value of n with that perspect so we assume that the statement is true for some value k and hence we are going to check whether the statement is true for k plus 1 or not so what to do if i want to check 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on up to n plus 1 okay so how do we do uh, we already know that the statement is true for this so what is the uh, formula for that so it is n into n plus 1 divided by 2 plus n plus 1 so k I assume to be n here, that's it. So when you come to the right hand side, replace n by n plus 1, that's all. So n plus 1, already this n to be replaced by n plus 1, so altogether it becomes n plus 2 divided by 2. When you multiply, you can see n squared plus n plus 2n plus 2. So that will be there divided by 2. Here also n squared plus 3n plus 2 divided by 2. So the same gets equated and hence the statement holds good. So that is how we given a statement on a positive integer n. We have to check whether it is correct or not using mathematical induction. Thompson introduced the concept of uh, converting any regular expression into epsilon NFA by applying this mathematical induction. So first, we need to understand what are the basis. Any regular for any regular expression, what are the basis? It's about the minimal length string that we have on a particular language. So well, we know that the minimal length string that could persist on any language is first epsilon. But epsilon is a very common string and hence if you go to a string of minimum length 1, so which it could be any symbol A. So this is, these are all the strings of minimum length. So how do we draw an epsilon and a P for this language? So here to create a start state, we have to create a final state. Connect it by using epsilon transition, that's all. This is the epsilon NFA for accepting the regular expression epsilon. Suppose you have a regular expression. So what is the regular expression here? It is epsilon. What is the language? It is nothing but epsilon. Here what is the regular expression? It is, sorry, regular. what is the regular expression here? It is A. What is the language? It is A. Okay. How do we draw the epsilon in the case for A? We have to create a start state, create a final state, add a transition on A. That's all. Now coming to induction. What are the different possible operations that are possible on the regular expressions? In our previous session, we made it clear that there are three possible operations. One is union, next is concatenation, third is clean closure. Now that we need to draw epsilon and MFA supporting all the three options. That's all. So now let R1 and R2 or two regular expressions representing two finite automata N1 and N2. What is its union? So union, what does it mean? Either R. Okay, R1 union R2 or it could also be represented in this way R1 plus R2. How do we draw? Just follow me. It's a very simple task. Already we know that there exists an NFA N1 representing R1. So it will have its own start state and its own final state. So this is the NFA N1. Okay. Similarly, for N2, it is representing the regular expression R2. So it will have its own start state and it will have its own final state. So this is an automata representing N2. Okay. Now, what is union operation? Either you should go through this path or you should go through this path. Just assume 
you have two roads parallel roads okay so this is road a and this is road b now that people want to interconnect these two roads how do they do so some common intervention will come and from there you should have a branch either towards here or towards here okay so the same concept applies here just create a new start state and a new final state because anyway you should reach the destination okay what is the destination that's what you are deciding so the same concept applies here connect it to the start state of n1 connect this to the start state of epsilon which means then you from the new start state you can divert to either this automata or this automata anyway after reaching the final state you should reach the actual final state okay because this is the final state of the total automation now so now this is the automata representing n1 union n to right like n is equal to n1 union n2 which will accept the language l is equal to l of n1 union l of n2 right so the regular expression for this is r1 r r2 r r1 plus r2 any of these notations you can use moving on to the second operation let same thing let r1 and r2 are two regular expressions representing the finite automata n1 and n2 what is its concatenation yeah so if you have two roads again if a person wants to cross both the roads what to do first he has to enter from the starting point leave the leave through the end point then again go to the starting point of the second road this is first road this is second road and then leave out and then reach the destination right so that is the final state so now the same concept applies here n1 will have its own start state and a final state so this is the already existing diagram for n1 again similar way you will have a start state and a final state for the automata n2 the concatenation of those two what is the concatenation writing n2 after n1 is the concatenation so i have to create a new start state add a new final state just add epsilon transition this is the way to enter into this after you come out again you join the second by using an epsilon and then and then reach out the final state by using epsilon transition okay so this is an automata representing r1 union oh sorry dot r2 concatenated with r2 representing the language l of r1 concatenated with that is l of r2 coming to the third basic operation we have discussed earlier it is an unary operation and hence i am taking only one regular expression r1 claim closure can be represented as you have n1 okay having one start state and having a final state this is the automata now what to do as usual you have to create a new start state and new final state right what is r1 star what about l of r1 star it will have epsilon the uh, language sorry words that are there in r1 and then l of r1 concatenated with l of r1 twice and it goes on right now how to make out this epsilon so we know that there should be a path from start state to final state without reading any symbols that makes epsilon one time transition one time you have to pass through what to do you have to go through this path this is one time transition then multiple times if you want how to do after reaching the final state so this is one way right after reaching here you should have a path to take you back to the start state so now what happens if you want zero times epsilon you can follow this one time you can go through this multiple times you can go any number of times you can repeat from here to here or to reach out here it's not only understand the uh, uh, concept of arithmetic operations rather evaluation of it based on the precedence becomes a matter so we all know the concept of baud mass right what is b it is nothing but the brackets so which is what we call as parenthesis o is called as the order which we call as power otherwise we basically call unary operations to then have division and multiplication which is equivalent to concatenation okay you just assume if you write 5 into 4 the same here we are representing by 5.4 okay so then you have addition and subtraction in the next level which you can assume it to be union operation what is union 5 plus 4 which is nothing but 5 or 
okay so just we have to follow the sequence given any expression this wadmos rule needs to be applied for arriving at the final epsilon in fe we'll just take one or two examples to understand i am writing one regular expressions arv the whole star a into brc so what to do first you have to break the sentence into individual elements regular expressions that it has a b and c basic regular expression means regular expressions of length 1 that's all now for a how to draw this is the automata so we know that brackets has to be resolved first there are two brackets okay first comes your a or b already we know this is an union operation already we have the automata for a we have the automata for b create a new start state and then a final state add some epsilon transition that's it it represents a or b similarly one more parenthesis is there b or c the same way we need to do this is the automata representing b this is the automata representing c create a new start state create a new final state just add the transitions that's all it represents b or c once done this now what is the next step after bracket what's available we have the unary operation a or b the whole star right for convenience i am writing this to be q0 and q1 and whatever i am going like this q0 q1 it represents the entire diagram of this kind you just assume so here we have to just substitute the entire diagram like this so how to apply star now a new start state a new final state for zero times we have to make a transition like this for one time this is the transition for multiple time from this final state you have to have a state like this so this is the complete diagram representing that so this is for a or b the whole star this is for a and this is for b or c yeah